as some of you may know, uh, we're going to get hit with a hurricane here in Florida. What a shock. So, uh, just in case, I'm going to go ahead, because if my power goes out, my fridge goes out, these peppers are probably going to go bad. So I had a couple other peppers I was going to review, but I figured why not review the pepper that was on the other side of the vote that didn't technically win, which is the Big Bang Chocolate Naga. All right. Now, this pepper is about 13 grams. This one's about 10. I'm going to cut this open kind of, this is the bigger one. I'm going to cut it open, kind of see what it looks like inside because it had kind of a, uh, let's see if I can show you. It had a, this, is this even it? Well, I guess it magically disappeared to y'all's advantage. So anyway, here's what I'm going to be reviewing this one. So I'll put the other one in my pocket and hope it doesn't explode. <laughs> I don't know if y'all have ever harvested and put peppers in your pocket, but sometimes they crack open and when you stick your fingers back in your pocket, it's not fun. But anyway, cut this open and uh, hopefully it's a good flavor. And the reason I say that is because not all these chocolate pods are a good flavor, but uh, Chili Crosser in the Pepper Lovers Community Discord is looking for chocolate peppers to cross particularly with good flavor and he's looking for no floral so we'll see if this is a contender oh man that smells hot so for those who don't know the big bang chocolate naga i don't know why they added big bang in there essentially it's just a chocolate naga naga morich right so the naga morich is the larger, slightly genetically different version of a ghost pepper. They're a little bit hotter too. Uh, chocolate version, so chocolate versions are usually hotter. Uh, this time, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat one half at a time, just because it's just easier to chew. Uh, but it, it, the smell right now, really chininzi. Got that earthy chocolate flavor. Earthy. I'm sure you hear that from uh, Johnny a lot. I don't really know how else to describe it. That's really the best way to describe it, so it fits. But it doesn't smell bad. I think this would make a good sauce or powder. And they're they're really big, and I've heard they're prolific. I mean, any, anything ghost pepper based is going to be prolific. I'm going to tap the screen and get it to focus here. Look at the gist. All right. So like I said, I'm gonna eat half at a time. It's just too much pepper to be wolfing down the whole thing at once. I just can't do it. Sweet right away. Wow. <laughs> Drilling everywhere. Buddy has got some heat to it. Oh, it makes you not want to eat the second half. Really strong flavor. See? See how it's stuck on my teeth? That's not fun. So I got my trusty water. And it's in the best color ever, right? this in half see if I can eat it without gagging I mean it's a good flavor it's just for some reason even though every part of my body can handle it some part of my body just doesn't want me to do it it's the thing about free will <laughs> I can over override it. Ugh. Ah, man, it's such a big pepper. I've already, the other one was 10 grams. <laughs> I mean, I think I've eaten that much. I don't think I can eat any more. Ugh. That second piece was kind of floral. <coughs> <coughs> ah, man. I think it had more oil. 
because the first one so the first one is all placenta but the placenta doesn't necessarily well that's where the heat's at doesn't mean that's the hot part all the oil could drip onto this part ah man this is burning different It's almost like I'm not eating this. Get out of here. But it's almost like a like there's a bitterness to it. It's making me wince, but it's a really good flavor. It's light. It's in my teeth though. Uh, anyway, so other than that, that bitterness almost taking me out on top of the throat burn that is now hitting me. I would say. That was a very sweet pepper, okay? Up front and then earthy, as most chocolates are. All the oil was in that. Oh man, that that little piece right there just had nothing but oil. I'm hurting. That huge half chunk I ate was, it's like a little habanero. That second piece was, it's a super hot. Ugh. Hiccups too. What the heck? <laughs> Did my tolerance drop? What the heck? Son. Sorry to disappoint, but I would have ate that other little chunk. I would have just gagged. It was a big pepper. I did as much as I could. I'm not a superhero or anything. I'm just someone who's trying to taste the peppers and challenge, my, <coughs> challenge myself every now and then. <sighs> Son. That's hot. It's like, it's like a dang, that's like tincture. It's just pure oil. Oh, man. Hey, my stomach is on fire. The heat peaked, but it still hurts. What a gnarly pepper and just say such a destructive burn. Man, I should have ate the other half. I would have been done for. If I would have ate that whole, I'd probably just been thrown up by now. And listen, man. Everybody has a limit. My my stomach stops me more often than most. I can usually take the heat. In my mouth but stomach listen I'm a humble person <laughs> I'm not trying to be bulimic all right throwing up after every pepper session the ultimate goal here is to, en to enjoy it so I want to enjoy the burn review the flavor push myself a little bit but I'm not trying to die or kill myself I'm not trying to hug the rim of the toilet for the sake of views, right? That's not what I'm trying to do here. If you notice the end of every video or at the end of every title of my videos, I'm stating it very clear. Pepper review. So I might eat a whole pot, I might eat a half. You know? It just depends on what I want to do. Oh, my stomach, buddy. That hurts. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna go chug a Chobani yogurt as Pepper Ranger recommended, and thanks for watching.